Hi, and welcome to the session on overview of Citrix Analytics for performance. My name is Vivek KR. I'm a product manager with Citrix in the Citrix Analytics team. By the end of the session, I hope to accomplish introducing you with the Citrix Analytics offerings, overview of the Citrix Analytics for performance, and talk about a few of the top features of performance analytics. Citrix Analytics is a subscription-based cloud offering from Citrix. All CBIT customers with any package can choose to subscribe to any of the analytics offerings. It supports on-prem, cloud-only, and hybrid deployments as well. Under analytics, we have three offerings. First is the security analytics. This is focused to provide you with the insights and automated actions to secure your workspace. Performance analytics is all focused on providing you with the prescriptive insights and recommendations to improve your user experience. Usage analytics is focused to provide you with the visibility into usage data of your Citrix products. Our goal is to empower IT admins with prescriptive and predictive insights, along with recommendations such that IT is always a step ahead of the business requirement. To achieve this, our strategy is to collect data across all Citrix products, correlate them in the context of users, applications, infrastructure, using machine learning models, churn out actionable insights and deliver it to you in the context of security, performance, and usage via Cloud Portal. I would like now to deep dive into performance analytics offering. Currently, the top issue faced by a Citrix admin is the perception of the users as Citrix are slow. Unfortunately, Citrix admins do not have the visibility into this perception until it's too late. They learn it either by increasing the support cases or escalation to the management. To tackle this, often admins rely on multiple monitoring solutions, leading to too many alerts and data, but very little actionable insights. And often it requires for admins to work with multiple stakeholders to get this data from various different components and then correlate to try to make sense of these data. Keeping these pain points in mind, performance analytics is built with features to provide you with visibility into the user experience and to provide you with prescriptive insight with the objective to reduce the overall time to resolution of these performance issues. Let's take a look at these features. The first one I would like to introduce is the user experience insights. Citrix Analytics for Performance provides you with the user experience dashboard. That gives you visibility into all the user across accessing the across different sites, provides you with the users categorized into excellent, fair, and poor user experience based on the session score. It also provides you with a trend chart that gives you a visibility into how the user experience has been varying over a period of time. You can use this also to validate your, the changes that you've rolled out, how has it impacted the user experience? Has that helped in improving the user experience or adversely impacted and shifted more users into the poor experience bucket? The so next is the failure insights. Session failure is the top factor for poor user experience across most of the customers. And gaining visibility into the root cause of these failures and recommended action is very critical for the admins. 
So in performance analytics, we analyze the root cause for these failures and surface them as insights. For example, black hole machines are those VDAs which appears to be all healthy when monitoring the resource utilization. However, these are the VDAs in state where they continuously result in failed sessions. So in an environment with thousands of VDA, these are very hard to spot. Performance analytics identifies these VDAs and surfaces them to you and provides you with recommended actions to mitigate these black hole machines. Communication failure is another common occurrence where any changes that is rolled out to the firewall settings often results in a lot of failure, which are often found out a little too late. Performance analytics identifies these failures that have occurred primarily due to communication error in the path of endpoint to machine or gateway to machine and provides you with the visibility on the exact gateway or the VDAs that are continuously resulting in these errors and thus helps you in, in focusing on how to overcome these communication errors. Log on duration insights. So for a successful sessions, providing you with visibility into overall log on duration. So performance analytics not only we provide you with the breakup of log on duration phases, we also provide you with insights on GPOs that are taking the longest time to execute and hence leading to overall a higher log on duration to users. We also provide you with insights into users with large profile size, hence overall they're having a high profile load time leading to an overall long session log on duration. Latency and location insights. In the current scenario, it's even more critical for admins to have all the visibility into the latency patterns. It is crucial for you to know if users with poor latency are coming from a specific geography. Are these users specifically having problems either because of data center latency or WAN size latency? What we provide in performance analytics are data points such as, you know, are these sessions from coming through internally or externally connected via gateway? Provide you with visibility into these gateway names, also the end user location. So using this and the customizable queries, you will be able to quickly identify if there are any patterns for users experiencing poor latency. You can even download this report or have these scheduled to be emailed on a periodic basis. Along with you trying to find out about these users on your own, what we also have is ML-based anomaly alerts. Now, unlike your other typical monitoring solution alerts, Performance analytics makes use of machine learning to identify anomalous patterns in latency and then alerts you only when there is a true anomalous latency observed. For example, we constantly identify baseline the latency between users coming logging from a specific location and accessing uh, applications from a specific delivery group. We also understand that this latency is seasonal. It varies from uh, days in the week and from hours in the days. So we understand this pattern and we observe and alert only when we see there is a high number of users with a higher latency, which is very unlike to that particular users coming from that location, accessing that application on that specific day in the time. 
We also provide you with root cause analysis and recommendations how to go and fix those latency issues. Along with holistic view across these sessions, we also provide you with in detail session insights where we provide you with data, time series data which, using which you can correlate and identify which factor is impacting the overall user session and at what time period did the session experience start degrading. One of the other key important factor in understanding the user experience is to understand how a machine's performance is impacting the user performance. In performance analytics, what we do is we correlate the machine performance with the user's performance and we surface them in the dashboard itself. So you will be given with a view where we have already analyzed and identified the number of machines whose performance has impacted the user's performance. Using this view, you will be able to quickly view the important stats of the machine, such as you know the number of times it has breached and had a sustained CPU spikes and memory usage as well, and correlate it with the corresponding sessions at that point in time and see how that has impacted the overall user experience. We also have a way view where you can actually create custom queries and save them for to be scheduled as reports to be sent out on a periodic basis. Another factor that impacts the user experience is the application performance itself. So similar to machine, we do correlate an application performance and highlight them to showcase how many users are impacted due to the poor application performance. For example, how many users were impacted because the application failed to launch or app crashed while in session. User input delay is also one of the key indicators that helps you identify if a particular application is taking too long to respond to users' actions. For cloud customers, it is important to get visibility into the gateway service connectors and understand if its performance is impacting the user's session performance as well. So similar to machine and application, we also constantly monitor the gateway service connectors performance and surface if the overloaded connector is indeed the root cause for users poor experience. Along with all these, we also provide you with crucial information uh, at a session level, such as the gateway location, gateway name, the connector location, connector name, and where the connection protocols, such as, you know, where this connection, uh, TCP, UDP, right? So based on all of these uh, data, you can arrive at a conclusive evidence as to which are the use user sessions that are having poor performance and what are the underlying component that is leading to these poor experiences. Along with this, we are also working on providing you with webhooks uh, so that you can listen to any of these insights or alerts generated in the system and trigger a corresponding workflow in your environment. We also will be working on providing with automated ticket creation uh, capability uh, to a ticketing system like ServiceNow. So that again, so that any such occurrences of uh, poor performance would trigger an automated tr uh, ticket and provide with all the data so that the ticketing process becomes very smooth. 
I really encourage you to try out Citrix Analytics for performance. You can actually try a demo, or you could straight away subscribe to our trial, which is a 60 day free trial as well. Right, again, thank you for your time today in viewing the session. You can reach out for any questions to my email ID. Thank you.